Hi gang, happy Friday. Um, I'm just gonna like be vlogging and combining clips and videos, but it is Friday, October 1st, so it's officially Vlogtober. Y'all, I put out a video this morning and the response has been overwhelming, so I'm super excited to keep doing Vlogmas. I mean Vlogmas, y'all, Vlogtober. Um, thank you for all the love. Um, on my intro and everything by the time y'all see this video it's probably sunday so happy sunday um yep i'm about to go to the gym i'm gonna take my balance powder and i want to take it just like a shot because the other day i took it i put it in my water and it was just too much water so i'm gonna go ahead and put this little um little spoonful in this little shot glass or tasting glass and then I'm gonna just put some water in it and stir it up because, sis, I wanna just take it as a shot so I don't have so much liquid. Let me grab a straw. Little blue straw, this one of my blue glass straws from Target. So I'm just gonna mix it up, take it like a shot, and then we are headed to the gym. I'm just gonna take my water with me after I drink this. So yeah, happy Friday. Welcome to the, well, I don't even know. I think this is not even a welcome to the vlog. It's just like a new day. So let me drink this and get to the gym. It's Friday, October 1st, 9 a.m. So let's go. All right, gang, so I'm done at the gym and I'm about to run out and run a couple quick errands. Y'all, it's literally my first off day, so I'm not even really trying to do too much. Uh, let me set y'all down real quick. But I do need to go return something to Target. Um, and I do need to run in Dollar Tree. So yeah, anyway, I'm about to make some coffee. So I'm gonna make some coffee in my new cup that y'all already know I got from Lisa. Like, I literally am obsessed with that P.O. Box. Um, and I just want to carry this one today. I think that it is such a great color. Like, what? And I don't want, like, a lot, a lot of coffee. This cup is 16 fluid ounces opposed to the ones that I usually bring, which are much taller. So, I thought that this was perfect. So, yeah, we're just going to make some iced coffee in here. And then I'm going to be using this cold brew um, coffee concentrate. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this. I have showed y'all this a couple times. Um, I had I have caramel and regular. I get them from Publix or Harris Teeter. But yeah, basically it's just a cold brew concentrate. So you put this, which we're about to open right now. How y'all day going? Hopefully you guys are feeling Vlogtober. Like I said, I just been getting so much love, and it's just it makes me feel so good. They're a little hard to open. But basically, um, yep, just open it up and I'm gonna just pour it inside this cup. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. And basically this is the cold book concentrate. So you're supposed to add some water and then you can make it as normal. I think I am going to add um, about a cup of water. So I'll be right back. And these are the things that I'm gonna add into my coffee. I'm gonna add some sugar-free French vanilla creamer and then a pump of this Cafe Italiano um, sugar-free vanilla that I think I got from Marshalls or is this a home good sign? Not sure, but yeah, I'm just gonna put these two in my um, coffee and yeah. All right, gang, so um, I'm home now from running my like little errands. I just had to run to Target to make a return. I went to Dollar Tree and then I ran in Walmart. That was it, but now I'm home and y'all, I am getting some work done. So I'm responding to the comments. It's Friday, y'all know I'm off on Friday and Saturday. So I'm responding to the comments. Thank y'all so much for all the love. Like y'all literally are coming through with the comments. So I'm about to respond to you guys' comments. And then I'm also going to read my Bible that I got from James and Lisa. I'm gonna do some planning on my iPad mini. And then I'm gonna read a little bit um, in my Amazon um, Kindle Fire that James and Lisa got me and use my pen that <laughs> James and Lisa got me. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna get some work done. And then also I ate this last night if you watched my last vlog, but I did make me another pizza. So yeah, this is going to be my lunch. Um, I'm the type of person when I like something, like I can just eat it like all the time. So I made this pizza super cheesy um, cause I had like a little bit of cheese left. So I just used it all. So I used one low carb tortilla. I used some low carb pizza sauce. I used pepperoni and then cheese and then I just baked it for like eight minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and have this for my lunch i was trying to pick up a piece so that i could show y'all yeah i had to put the flash on so this is my lunch so yeah um like i said i made it super cheesy um and i'm just gonna go ahead and eat this while i work um read my bible um plan and reading my book so yeah it's friday and i typically um, y'all know, I typically get it together on Friday and Saturdays because I work Sunday through Thursday. So, yeah, and then lastly, I just got some unsweet tea that I put some stevia in in this little um, cauldron type cup that I got from Dollar Tree. So, yeah, I'm just about to work, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, gang, so real quick before my food gets cold, I told y'all this is Vlogtober, but I'm also trying to hold myself accountable by doing Keytober and by me like vlogging my meals it's kind of like holding myself accountable so anyway for dinner tonight of course i did not show y'all me cooking this because it's a basic i got the veggie burgers that we always use that they put me on i always got to give him his props for that um i made two of them because the only thing i ate today was that pizza i showed y'all earlier so your girl is hungry but i got the veggie burgers um Hold on, I'm gonna, hold on. So yeah, these are the veggie burgers that we eat. They are the veggie grillers, original. Y'all, they have 16 grams of protein. Um, it's the Morningstar brand. And heat bun done. And then if you flip it over to the back, like I said, it's 16 grams of protein, eight carbs, four dietary, four dietary fibers. So you know you subtract that, so it's only four um, carbs and 130 calories. So. These are the burgers I'm using, and then, of course, my buns. These are not my favorite um, buns, but if you heat them up with butter, they're good. They're the buns from Aldi. The keto buns, they're two net carbs per bun, eight grams of protein. So I'm going to log all of this in my fitness pal, but just add 16 plus eight. And then if I eat the other one, another 16 and another, no, 16 plus two. And then if I eat the other one, another 16 plus two. So that's a high protein, low carb meal. Um, turn it around so y'all can see the macros. Boom, boom. 60 calories per bun, 21 carbs, 19 dietary fibers, and eight grams of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my burger. I got a couple tomatoes and then I just um, sauteed some onions and bell peppers. I just wanted that on the burger. So yeah, I'm gonna assemble it and I'll come back and show y'all. All right, gang, so here's the final product and I'm just showing y'all for all my new people. I'm gonna put y'all on all the keto finds. Like I said, this is not my favorite bun, but if you want a hamburger, chicken sandwich or something, I mean, just heat it up with a lot of butter, slather that butter on there. And then I put a little bit of ranch, like always, because I love ranch. And then I used a Duke Mayo. Like, what y'all know about that Duke Mayo? But anyway, a little bit of lettuce, one tomato. And every time I make these, it reminds me of a Krabby Patty. But yeah, I'm going to eat this, see how I feel. And if I'm still hungry, I'll eat the other one. So that's what I'm going to try to do lately. I'm going to try to, like, have dinner eight um, by, like, eight o'clock, early as possible. And then also I'm going to eat just kind of like a smaller portion to see if I'm full. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll eat more instead of just having like a whole bunch of food and then just overeating for no reason. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and I'll see you guys later. You can talk, babe. I'm just getting like some B-roll. You can talk. I'm just getting some B-roll. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to drink a diet, well, a zero sugar cherry Dr. Pepper bomb. 10 out of 10. Y'all know Dr. Pepper my favorite, so, yeah. Hello, gang. <laughs> Y'all, happy Saturday. It's 10 a.m., and I'm about to head to the gym. Um, and then, after I get 
um, back from the gym. I think I'm gonna go home, shower, throw some clothes on, and then go to the grocery store just to grab a few things. I'm really, 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 really trying to have us eat what we got before we just keep buying stuff. I think I also wanna purge the cabinets and stuff, but I wanna go ahead and get my workout in. This morning I did wake up and I posted the video that y'all saw um, Sunday, cause you guys are seeing this video Monday. I'm trying to keep up. So I posted that video and now I'm about to go to the gym, get that workout in. Y'all know my work week starts on Sunday. So Saturdays are pretty much like my prep days. So yeah, I did have a small cup of coffee this morning, but y'all already know I need a little more energy. So I'm about to pop open one of these witches brew um, energy drinks. Bomb, my absolute favorite. In my case, so that I have some when they go away, I may even get one more case just so I can put it in the closet. But they're so good. Ooh, pop it open. Glass straw. Got from Target. So I'm just gonna put it in there. Y'all, these are really good. Y'all, my favorite. I'm actually about to run in the house and get my little Hydra Peak. So I'll be right back. Y'all know I love this thing. Got it from, I want to say, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. And basically, I love it because it's skinny. Because um, y'all know the Alani New cans are the small cans. Because one thing about me, y'all already know, I can't like really drink like an energy drink like that. So, anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this. We're about to head to the gym. Um, I feel good. I feel great. This is day three, starting of keto. <sighs> So I'm excited about that. I'm getting my protein in. I'm limiting my carbs. Make sure I have enough calories. Make sure I have enough fat. So it's going pretty good day three. Um, that's why I want to plan my meals and stuff for the week so that I know that I'm excited about it. So we're about to head to the gym. Um, but I need you guys to know that I'm now something new members of the Danny Gang. If you want to be a member of the Danny Gang, gang like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. After the bell, put your fist up. Y'all got to fight me. After you fight me and you jumped in, you're a lifetime member. Period. 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 Nothing left to say like period. 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 <laughs> period. Yeah. Period. 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 I noticed I might didn't say my intro in my last vlog and I was like, Danny, like, what are you doing? Ooh, y'all. I don't know if y'all see all this sweat, but I just spent... 20 minutes on the elliptical and um, 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. So now I'm gonna do a cool down on the um, treadmill. So I was up here, but I want a treadmill with a fan on it because this is hot. Um, I forgot my water. And typically when I do the Stairmaster, I need water because if I just have my energy drink, I'll cramp up. So I got a little bit of cramps. So I want to find a treadmill with um, a fan on it. So let's see. So yeah, these are the treadmills I like. They're the rev, um, free motion treadmills and they have a lot more things on them and they also have a fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my cool down on here. Right, gang so it's been a little bit later i'm sure i look completely different but um i'm gonna end this vlog in a minute i'm about to head out to grab just some proteins for the week we have so many sides that i think we could like create some meals but the only meat we have or protein is ground turkey so i'm gonna run out and try to get a couple proteins i looked in the cabinets and i looked in the fridge and freezer to see what we have and i have like a lot of of sides so that's what we're gonna do but before we go y'all i did want to come and show y'all yet another cup from favorite collections y'all i literally love working with them i have worked with them like I think that's like my third or fourth time working with them honestly and i love them but y'all know it is breast cancer awareness month so favorite collections and i have teamed up and we're doing a collab and i'm super excited about it breast cancer is very important to me for many reasons but for one i have breasts <laughs> and it's very important to know 
so that I can get checked and make sure that you are safe and healthy. So, Favorite Collections sent over this beautiful Starbucks cup. Y'all, if y'all have seen the cups that they send me, they're always Starbucks cup and they're customized. So, um, this is the cup. This is the breast cancer um, awareness cup and I love it. So, I want to go ahead and show you it and then I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it. So, this is the cup. This is the venti sized Starbucks cup and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try to shake it up real quick so you guys can see the glitter. So as you guys can see, the glitter um, is at the bottom, but I will put it on the side of the screen what it looks like when you shake it up. Um, it's settled now because I have water in it, but anyway, this is so freaking cute. So the top of the lid is be bedazzled and it has the breast cancer awareness sign um, and I just think that is gorgeous. It has a um, black and clear straw that is so freaking cute and then on the cup like I said they customize Starbucks cups and I love them all this is literally becoming my favorite one it, they put a little bow on it and it says Danny J and then also they put no one fights alone on the cup which I will do a close-up and also like a little Minnie Mouse fighting with her fist up I think this is so freaking cute they also put the breast cancer awareness symbol and some hearts on the cup and it's just super girly but when you see it you automatically know like what's going on and you know when you see someone with this cup you know they support breast cancer maybe they had it maybe they're breast cancer free maybe someone close to them passed from breast cancer so um like I said, I am doing a collaboration with them. So if you guys want to go ahead and order this cup, pre-order it, um, you can go ahead and click the link in my description box. You can use my code Danny J Fights and you will save money on this gorgeous cup. So I am definitely going to be um, carrying all my cups, but this one is just really special to me. And like I said, on the side of the screen should definitely be some close-ups of this cup because it's absolutely gorgeous and they will be donating the proceeds from what we raise to a breast cancer awareness um place so i'm super excited about it let's go ahead and head to the grocery store i'm trying to think i think i'm gonna go to aldi because they usually have like the most reasonably priced um produce and meat so yeah with that being said let's go ahead all right gang so just got back from aldi and like i said i literally only got a couple things so i got um a thing of yellow onions um and i think these are like a dollar and 89 cents i got two packs of taco seasoning they were 40 cents i got some jumbo hot dogs because i have like chili here so and cheese so i can make like bunless um chili cheese dogs which i freaking love so i got these these were 79 cent um i got a pineapple for babe which was a dollar and 50 cent i got um some white rice for babe which was a dollar and 50 cent for this big old bag i'm gonna refill our rice jar um i got some green peppers which was like a dollar and 80 cent i think and then i got two things of ground turkey so we definitely prefer the 97.3 but um these were a good price, 17 grams of protein per serving, and I can just pop them in the freezer and pull them out for, like, tacos or whatever. Like I told y'all, I primarily just wanted to get, like, some meat for the week, so I just got two things of ground turkey, and this could be for tacos. It could be for, like, a ground turkey breakfast scramble. It could be, I could scramble this up with a keto-friendly sauce and put it over cauliflower rice, whatever. So I went ahead and just grabbed two of these. I grabbed some pork chops because we like pork chops, and Babe makes them so bomb, so these three Three pork chops were three eighty three, so like a dollar and some change each. And then last but not least, I got some ground beef, the ninety seven three. Now, when it comes to ground beef, like I have to have ninety seven three because it just tastes so much better. Um, and this was five sixty five, so uh, I think I end up spending like seventeen dollars or something. And that is for four things of protein, um, vegetables, uh, fruit, carb, and hot dogs and taco seasoning. So I got all that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here with this mini little haul and tomorrow I'll probably like show you guys or tell you guys like my meal plans for the week because I'm about to sit down now that I have my proteins. I'm about to sit down and decide what I'm actually going to make. And then I'm also thinking I'm going to meal prep this and not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think I'm going to meal prep this Genio's 
turkey since i took it out so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you made it all the way to the end go ahead and leave a pink heart down below because here is my cup i drank all my water but again if you guys want to shop and get one of these cups for yourself click the link in my description box and i'll see you guys in my next video bye see y'all tomorrow period